to game one between Master Ray and Kiyodadu. Hey, I said it right that time. AKA Zeddy. Zeddy's going to be starting at the six o'clock location as the Teal Zerg. Overlord is slowly making his way to the initial scout at Master Ray, starting as the orange Protoss in the upper left-hand corner. This is going to be on Power Bond, which I'm going to reveal just because I like... It just is aesthetically pleasing. You'd have that command center in the middle. I'm wondering in how many times in the matches amount, around, amongst Power Bond, how many Zerg have opted to get Mutalisks and Queens at some point in the game and capture this command center to have, you know, a nice floating suicide factory. Because that's a thing that Zerg get just for free on this map, right? Theoretically. I don't think that's a hallucination. Anyway. Game uh, Master Ray looking to follow up with another Finals Birth, placing a pylon towards the natural expansion. This is a larger macro-oriented map, I assume as a result. And it is, I believe, a three-player map. It's like a larger, more macro-oriented... I guess not every three-player map's a Tau Cross map, but that's like the baseline equivalent I can think of. Is there another three-player map that's as famous as Tau Cross for just kind of standard, like, being the, the balanced play or whatever? Although I'm, some, I'm sure people would argue that Tau Cross isn't super balanced. Anyway, gateway up initially. We do see a nine pool opposite corner from Zeddy grabbing gas as well. So I believe he's going to open up with speed Zerglings. <clears throat> Actually, I take it back. Just wants to get those Zerglings out to deal with the initial scout. Master Ray is headed north with the initial probes in this Overlord. The question is, is does it see the pylon and then readjust position? Because the thing is, is sometimes when that pylon gets spotted, what can happen is if the Overlord kind of goes into this creep area, it, it can be an indicator for Master Ray to go ahead and address his scouting pattern. It looks like it's too late, though. He's in the upper right-hand right corner, nothing revealed, and he sees that pylon, but has he wandered up? He has wandered up to see the gateway. So he knows the initial build order. Six Celts being produced, sell about halfway finished. And I'm curious if he's going to go ahead and go for a fourth round of Zerglings. Starting to move the drone scout over, and he is saving towards 200 minerals, and it looks like he is going to opt for the full eight. <laughs> Drone doing what drones do, that little kind of freak out dance. And the probe gets the scouting information it needs, that Zerglings are on the way, not able to deny the hatchery. And the initial six Zerglings making their way towards the front, the Zealot coming back, realizing it needs to play a little bit more defensively. Forge warping in, Overlord making its way forward just to see that there's no Nexus and get complete vision, that is two Overlords. And a third hatchery very quickly placed. Sorry, that's the second hatchery. Derp. Just kind of a weird look on the map. And Zeddy being very aggressive with these Zerglings. Continuing to press uh, to build Zerglings. Moving forward and is now attacking that gateway. Since this cannon was very, very late. Zealot's coming off the line to try to deal with these Zerglings. Looks like that is going to allow another Zealot to sneak out. Nice play by Master Ray. That's also giving time for this Photon Cannon to warp in. This gateway is very low on health. More Zerglings are coming up. This might be the match right here if he can breach the line. Gateway down. No second cannon. And the first cannon is not warped in. So it's just going to be a Zealot to try to defend this. The Zealot trying to pull the Zerglings off. The probes are pulled off the line. This is at the very least going to be a lot of economic disruption. And it looks like the Zerglings did not get a surround on the cannon. So Master Ray is going to survive. He ends up losing the gateway though. Two Zealots. And he's not going to be able to apply additional pressure to Zeddy. Zeddy now grabbing his third. For a moment there, I thought Zeddy was just going to straight up be able to win the match. The Overlord floating towards the main, seeing that there's actually not even a Vespian gas yet taken. He needs to back off that Overlord. The second Overlord taking some damage. A second cannon plopped down for Master Ray. Which I'm a little surprised he did because he could still wander up and see Zergling production with this probe that he had stashed in the base. And we'll see if that doesn't look like that's going to result in a Photon Cannon cancellation. Now getting his Nexus at the 4 minute 30 second mark. Now granted, Zeddy did produce a lot. He used, a, he expended a lot of Larva on Zerglings initially. And it looks like he only has one Zergling to show for it, which is going to, I assume, go to work on this probe. But, but, still, overall, Feel like the early game advantage going to Zeddy. Plopping a Hydralis then, just letting Master Ray see it. Usually that suggests some sort of five hatch Hydralisk play. But at this stage of thing, this surprises me a bit. 
Mostly because this is Mastery just taking his gas now at the five minute mark. And the cybernetic score is only halfway finished. So it looks like Zeddy, rather than going for Spire Tech and pushing things that direction, he's instead opting to potentially go for a bust. He's got Hydra Sten, Hydra Speed upgrading. And he's doing this right in the face of Master Ray. And he's going to do it off three hatcheries, it looks like. So droning up, getting what he needs to play things that way. And this is a big cue to Master Ray right here, seeing, granted the Hydralists might have snuck by there, but seeing the Hydra Den, seeing the fact that there's only, there's no additional hatchery in the main, and seeing Hydralists starting to be produced now, he's already preventatively plopping down another pylon, just in case this pylon got picked off, and another cannon on the front. So Zeddy going for a bust against Master Ray off a three hatch timing, and hoping to win the game from there, I almost feel like he would have been better off just going Lair to Spire. Considering how delayed that Gas and Cybernetic score were. Hydralisks moving up. They're going to have this Hydralisk taking some damage. It looks like he's going to work on that gateway again. Only two Zealots on the low ground. But these cannons should be plenty to fence. Citadel of a Dune warping in for Master Ray. So I think he's going to opt for... He's going to skip... With all of that scouting information, he's feeling like, I don't need the Corsairs. I'm going to go ahead and skip that stage of the game and get my Templar archives, get some Dark Templar out on the front. There is already an Overlord here, and Zeddy's assault on the front begins. Plenty of cannons warping in. It's going to be a bit before Zealot Leg Speed is in place for Master Ray, so this still might play out for Zeddy. He's now plopping down a 4th Hatchery and a 5th Hatchery at his Natural Expansion and his 3rd equivalently. This probe getting eyes on that additional Hatchery, though. <clears throat> and Zeddy now has a degree of map control. Is he going to opt for Lair at this stage, or is he just going to continue off 5 Hatch Hydra is the question. He is in a, a position where he could get a good seal. And Master Ray has been a little bit light on unit production. He's upgrading Psy Storm. And plopping down an additional gateway in his main to potentially deal with this. Actually, not upgrading Zealot Leg Speed, interestingly enough. Second Forge being built. The Forge on the front being taken out. And Master Ray, after that initial Zergling attack, <clears throat> basically in survival mode. Zeddy continuing to flood out Hydralisks. So now Master Ray has two problems. One... How does he get out of his base? And two, how does he slow Zeddy's economy down? Zeddy opting to go ahead and take a fourth now that he has firm control of the map. If Master Ray can sneak out and get some decent size storms while Zeddy's not paying attention, that could be the difference. Master Ray realizing the situation has actually opted to go double forge and up to five gateways. So I believe he's going to go for a level one weapons upgrade Follow up, build a bunch of units, and try to go for an aggressive attack to follow. Psystorm is ready for the Hydralisks incoming. Just barely going to upgrade. Probe still pulling off the line to try to deal with this. The Hydralisks able to take down three cannons before Psystorm is fully researched. There's the first Psystorm, catching a good amount of the Hydralisks. And Zeddy continuing to press. More Hydralisks just flooding out, and I believe he might have enough to end the game right here. More Hydralisks pressing forward. Probes off the line. Mastery trying to reestablish the cannon line. I believe there's one more Psy Storm in these High Templar. But probes are mixed in these units. The Hydralisks surrounding the cannons. A good spread. Only catching two Hydralisks with that Psy Storm. More Hydralisks are flooding across the minimap. And now the Hydralisks are walking up the ramp. Only two, so they're going to have trouble with reinforcements right there. But Probe still pulling off the line to try to deal with this. The Overlord sneaking a little bit forward. It's going to end up taking some shots. Probe's actually able to kill the Hydralisks on the ramp. That Overlord's going to get taken out. That opens up the possibility of a Dark Templar to maybe clean this up in a bit. Probe's boxing out those Hydralisks from those cannons. And it looks like Master Ray has survived once again. Front pylons being taken out. That was a big investment from Zeddy. Still pressing this attack. The probe's right on top at the extent of the range of the cannons. And they are doing all sorts of damage. And wiping that out. Now I'm concerned for Zeddy. He's continuing to pour the Hydralisk. And now adding some Zerglings in with this attack. He wants to end this game now. 
continuing to press forward. The Zerglings trying to get on top of the cannons. More probes pulling off the line. A handful of Zelts right there. Fortunately for Master Ray, if he can hold off this next wave, he will have some Psy Storm to work with and level 1 weapons and level 1 armor plus these gateways starting to be able to produce units to provide some defense outside of his probes. Now granted, Master Ray la lost a handful of probes here and there. He might want to reestablish um, some gas here, but sitting on two bases, I do not believe he dropped below a probe count that is going to make him inefficient off two. The issue here, though, is that Zeddy, even despite all of that economic investment, is still sitting at four bases. Comparatively, though, Zeddy has skipped a lot of droning up. Is still sitting at 36 drones. To get full utilization out of those four bases, he is pushing up tech. He still has an economic advantage. But I'm wondering if he missed the opportunity to just hold and seal... He's now running out across the map with a lot of Zerglings, making sure Master Ray didn't sneak anything. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor now online. An additional gateway being plopped down for Master Ray. That's going to bring him up to a total of 6. I believe once we see this Zealot leg speed finish, it is going to be High Templar and Zealots streaming across the map with a single Archon to provide some support. It's now working on that Overlord. Lair is up. Lurker Aspect is upgrading. Zeddy in the red after that Overlord kill, he might be in a bit of trouble. I don't know that he's going to be able to get Lurkers out in time to deal with Master Ray's follow-up attack. However, he's got a lot... Master Ray's got to take a lot of territory. Because this is four bases. Spire also morphing in at that natural expansion. Zelt Leg Speed just finishing. And a skeleton crew of seven Hydralisks to greet these Zealots as they're out. Lurker Aspect is a ways from finishing. Some Hydralisks misrallied. They're going to get surrounded and wiped out. Some Psystorm catching them as they're running across. It looks like they're actually hitting some of the Zealots as well. So Master Ray able to clear his front door unopposed. Continue with the Psystorm. The Psystorms have mostly been empty. Morphing in a second Archon. Looks like he was primarily concerned with opening up his front. Spire is finished, and while Master Ray is kind of grouping up, we do see somewhere around here several Lurkers being... I'm trying to find them. There they are. Lurkers being morphed on the front door. And with a lack of an observatory, that is going to repel Master Ray's attack unless there's some beautiful size storms and grouping otherwise. But long story short, as long as Zeddy can keep these overlords alive, or sorry, keep these lurkers alive, he still will maintain a degree of map control against a zealot heavy army that Master Ray's fielding. Size storm could be the difference. Nice size storm hitting the initial two lurkers. Two of them getting wiped out. Some additional Zerglings getting peeled out. More Zer Ooh, more Scythe Storm getting expended. The Lurker not taking a lot of damage on that corner. And this, as long as these Lurkers remain alive, I don't think Master Ray is going to feel comfortable taking an additional expansion. The Lurker's now burrowing. Scythe Storm mostly whiffing. Master Ray has not been on top of his Scythe Storms this game. Only catching, it looks like, one or two Hydralisks. Now blanketing that Lurker and the rest of the Hydralisks. But one Lurker still alive in that back corner, and another one coming up. Another two coming up, if they can just burrow. A follow-up Psystorm is... But that's not what you want. You don't want just a single Psystorm to take out a single Lurker. So the Lurker is now pressing on Master Ray's front door. More Archons morphing, and that's four Archons. Very beefy. And keep in mind, level two weapons and level one level two armor are now coming up online. Master Ray going ahead and grabbing his third, plopping a cannon. The Lurker is right on top of it. Units flooding to deny this base. Easily going to be able to take that cannon out. Master Ray now responding and moving his army towards the third to try to defend it. I believe there's finally an observer overhead where he will be able to detect these Lurkers. And he has plenty of Dragoons if he can get them in position to do so. 
So it looks like he is going to be able to clean up this attack force. Only loses a cannon for his efforts. He is going to be able to establish his third. But Zeddy is sitting at 52 drones. And he's taking another base in the upper left-hand corner. Upper right-hand corner, sorry. So despite everything, Zeddy behind overall in macro. Back about 10 supply. But he's kept Master Ray to two bases for an extended period of time. Is way behind on upgrades, and I think that actually might be a big factor here in the mid-game. He's just now getting level 1 Spines and level 1 Carapace. Lurker's pressing ahead. The Dragoons, there with the Observer, easily able to wipe out those Lurkers. Hydralis doing a decent job of dodging Storm, getting on top of these Dragoons. But Master Ray easily, with his weapons upgrade, able to wipe out the standing Zerg army. With those upgrades, with the Psy Storm, with the Zealots, with the Dragoons, and the Observer, I believe he has a strong degree of map control. The question is, is how much territory can he take? Or how much territory can he deny Zeddy? In the follow-up. Hydralisks and Scourge in position to try to pick off that Observer. That will be key. Two Observers right there. One Observer down, second Observer down. So the Lurkers are going to stand. That's going to back Master Ray off. Zeddy suddenly in survival mode. And Master Ray fanning out. He does have that third base up and running. Doing a bit of damage as some Lurkers are sneaking across. It looks like the Lurkers and Zerglings want to try to catch these High Templar. Before Master Ray's aware. All three of them getting Psystorm for their efforts. Some Zerglings sneaking in. They're going to get a Dragoon. Going to force a morph of that Archon. Easily cleaned up altogether. It's kind of annoying little excursions. Zealot checking this upper right hand base. It's still not finding this hatchery. Which is yet not mining or operational. And Zeddy now switching into Lurker Lang. Making his way halfway to Hive Tech. Master Ray up 30 supply. Critically at level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Has all the components he needs, but needs to establish additional bases. And needs to slow Zeddy down. Zeddy dropping all sorts of creep colonies to the north. So that he can respond to any attack. A zealot finding a drone transfer as they're making their way across. Lurkers scurrying to try to intercept. Master Ray, realizing there's a base in the upper right, now gathering his troops to go ahead and wipe that out. And there's only a handful of lurkers to try to defend it. Master Ray opting, for a moment, kind of hesitating, looking for reinforcements. Is there a Nidus Canal up here yet? I do not see a Nidus to provide additional support. Now Master Ray hunting for expansions. Only a single creep colony defending the 3 o'clock base. Another overlord getting taken out. And Master Ray looking very dangerous. This feels like a marauding army. Like Vikings. Going out to raid a coastal town. The meager defenses. Master Ray catching only a single lurker and a handful of zerglings to the north. Some more lurkers burrowing underneath. One observer was taken out. But plenty of side storm over the back end lurkers. This is a close reinforcement point for Zeddy. Looks like the front line has mostly been taken care of. If you can get more Zerglings, perhaps you can deal with this back line. Master Ray still blanketing on the Psy Storms. The Zerglings sneaking in from behind, trying to catch those High Templar. And get on top of everything else. Actually forcing a Psy Storm on top of an Archon. I think Zeddy is going to be able to defend this just through sheer reinforcements. Master Ray not backing off. And ends up losing all of his Dragoons and all of his Archons. And Zeddy really has lost nothing in that exchange. More Zerglings pressing in. I, they might be able to hunt down. It looks like they're going to pull back. While that was happening, Master Ray trying to establish another base. But with Hive Tech finished. And Defilers not that far away. I'm concerned with Master Ray's ability to hold these additional bases. Because Zerglings become so strong late game in this matchup. Particularly under Dark Swarm. 
Zeddy approaching the ramp, finding an army there, opting to back off. Single Zealot trying to stop this hatchery at the 2 o'clock location. Really, a critical moment here is can Zeddy hold off, keep his economy up and rolling, get, get the crack upgrade, and go ahead and get that Defiler Mound up and running. Defiler Mound and Swarm, I'm going to say that he might just be too strong and have too large an economy to stop. Plus, as time progresses, he's getting more upgrades. Master Ray looking for a drop. The Overlord does see that drop. Already prepared with two Scourge. Mas wow, opportunities for Master Ray starting to deplete. Huge bank for Zeddy. He's still behind about 10 supply. Great upgrades for Master Ray, though. This is a scary army. Some Zerglings positioning in between. It looks like they're going to force a morph of Archons. And that's forcing Master Ray's army back. Master Ray once again in survival mode. And Zeddy continues to build his army. And Defilers are on the way. Consume upgrading. And this is where Zerglings become a big problem. Master Ray trying to establish another base in the bottom left-hand corner. Turning into a long-term macro game here. Zeddy still positioning to mostly rely on Lurkers. But he's got a big Lurkerling army. Finally getting weapons won. And actually opting to drop an Ultralisk Cavern. Feeling like he has a large enough economy where he can turn this around into a big Ultralisk army. Basically, bigger versions of Zerglings. Right? That's what they are. Big, meaty Zerglings. Defiler in position. Doesn't have consumed just yet. Zerglings trying to engage. This is Lur this is Psystorm bait. All of those lurkers getting stormed. The Defiler just watching it happen. Lazy Defiler. Zeddy can donate those troops, though. Master Ray now establishing a base in the bottom left-hand corner. His main is mined out. His natural expansion is mined out. He's basically running on three bases. Zeddy's main is mined out. His natural expansion will be mined out momentarily. He's running on four bases equivalently. And they're fairly well saturated. Although this upper right-hand base is still getting saturated. And he's adding an additional base. Plague is also being upgraded. And the Lurkers and Lings are starting to flood across the map. Zeddy is, fill, is starting to fill that army out. Catching which, a Dragoon, which I'm honestly, I'm just going to say is there for scouting purposes. Are we going to see? There's the Dark Swarm. Dark Swarm and Zerglings pressing in. Master Ray trying to engage this. Is he going to get there in time? The Zerglings do not have the speed, do not have the Adrenal upgrade. So it's going to take them a while to take these cannons down. Master Ray should be able to swing around this other ramp and go ahead and defend this base. He's got the Archons in place. He's got some Psy Storm to go ahead and deal this and repel this attack. While that's happening, looks like there was another drop of Dark Templars inside Zeddy's main. Able to catch an Evolution Chamber, which is significant. Also able to take out that Spawning Pool. The Overlords are going to go ahead and give Vision to take care of those Dark Templars. Another handful of Dark Templars might get caught in open field here. So he's repelled the attack to the bottom left, was able to inflict some economic damage. Otherwise, I think he was able to get the Ultralisk Cavern as well. Ultralisk Cavern is rebuilding, bottom right. Scourge going to go ahead and clear out that shuttle. But Master Ray's bought himself some more breathing room, transferring more probes to this bottom left-hand expansion. Zeddy has five operational bases, but doesn't quite have saturation. Master Ray at some fantastic upgrades comparatively. Level 3 Carapace is online. I feel like the critical missing components here for Zeddy, though, are he still doesn't have that Adrenal upgrade on these Zerglings. This base quickly going to get wiped out, but we do have a counterattack to dive into this base. Psystorm cleaning that up very easily. So a base trade for... A failed attack, effectively, in the bottom left-hand corner. 
This does buy Zeddy some time to go ahead and get Ultralisks out on the field, though. Working on the uh, Kiteness upgrade. Master Ray gathering nearby. He does have Speed Shuttles upgrading. He's actually upgrading level 1 air weapons. Interesting. Wondering if that was a misclick. And Zeddy, now being engaged on his front, some reinforcements diving from above. Psystorm, now Master Ray Psystorm looking much better, catching a lot of these units, but these Zerglings flooding in. Beautiful storms from Master Ray, really cleaning this army up. And Master Ray going to back off with his army. He needs to keep this army alive, because he loses that army, he's going to end up losing all of his expansions, effectively. Taking, wow, very brave expansion to take. At the inside 6 o'clock. Ultralisks are up. They do not quite yet have the Chitinous upgrade to have that beefy armor. This plus... Honestly, even this amount of troops plus a Defiler. And these bases of Master Ray are going to be very vulnerable. Master Ray, in the meantime, has hit max supply. He's very near max upgrades. Ultralisk, a single Ultralisk getting caught. Master Ray now knows those Ultralisks are out in the field. They're backing up. Zeddy trying to reestablish that inside 3 o'clock base. And it is... We have a match. A long-term macroeconomic match. But critically, I just am not seeing Defilers out for Zeddy anywhere. And Plague and Swarm are the difference in these late-game matches. You, Ultralisks are amazing, but Archons with these upgrades just do so much damage. Mastery diving into this inside 3... Catching some drones in transfer. The drones look like they're a handful of them are going to get picked off. Blanketing Psystorm over those Ultralis. The Ultralis backing off and Master Ray backing off with his army as well. Still no Defiler to speak of. Master Ray, honestly, with his roaming army, it feels like he has a degree of map control. Once again, moving across that ramp against what looks like practically a full control group of Ultralis. Keep in mind, Ultralis are melee only. Zeddy regrouping, trying to get a good spread. The Lurker is eating some Psystorm from the back lines. And the Ultralisk is very quickly getting melted through between the Archons and the Zealots. And again, this is where Plague or Swarm or something would have been helpful. Particularly with an upgrade disadvantage. Zergling's trying to flood and protect this base, but I believe Master Ray is going to be able to wipe out this base before reinforcements are able to make a difference here. And this might be first blood in the long game of attrition. Master Ray, you just see how much... Wow, look at that hatchery melt behind these four Archons. Master Ray very rapidly remaxing to 200 supply and Zeddy having difficulty doing so. Looks like he did have a defiler with this grouping, but having trouble grouping his troops. Zeddy honestly controlled large portions of this game. But now in this late portion of the match, is starting to fall apart. Doesn't seem to have the economy to get it done. Doesn't have the troops in place to get it done. Some Ultralis trying to come in to protect this 3 o'clock base. Zeddy is now economically behind. Master Ray is rolling at 4 bases. While Zeddy is sitting effectively on 3. And not able to establish an additional base. Swarm finally in place with these Ultralisks to make this, ultra, this single Ultralisk. All the scarier. Still getting wiped out. And I still think this 3 o'clock base might end up falling. Depending on how Zeddy plays this. This is, at the very least, giving Master Ray some breathing room to go ahead and refill that supply. He's once again maxed overall to 200 supply. Zeddy having a lot of trouble cleaning this up. He finally has the Adrenal upgrade. But he's mining... In, these up, in the upper left-hand quadrant, at this 3 o'clock base, but his third base is mined out, his naturals mined out, his mains mined out, and Master Ray, in the meantime, is sitting comfortably on four bases with all sorts of High Templar and Psystorm built up. Maxed High Templar, although they are not upgraded. And we see Maelstrom on the way as well. And you know what that means. Another drop in the main. Just a handful of Zealots. It looks like Zeddy was prepared for it. Those Zealots getting cleared. 
no Overlord and that Dark Temple are going to be able to clear things out there. And Master Ray going for a counterattack. Has superior supply overall. Still sitting at superior upgrades. He's momentarily going to be maxed out in upgrades. Starting to dive is denying that inside three. Might even be able to jump up and take that three o'clock proper out. Psystorm missing a handful of these Zerglings. A single Ultralisk trying to hold the line. But it is not enough. And Master Ray, realizing this base has not been taken, he can just deny this, honestly, and probably win the game. But he's in a position where I feel like he could actually just walk up and go ahead and wipe out that three with the defenses that Zeddy's producing. Zeddy moving down with the Defiler, dropping some Swarm underneath. Three Archons are here. So very quickly, even with the Swarm and a handful of Zealots able to take out everything in between, a little bit of a lack of Lurker to provide some support in the mix of this. The Defiler now wiped out. So Master Ray, between this and the reinforcements that are flooding out from Zeddy, he's happy to lose this army, honestly, as long as he holds these bases and slowly starves Zeddy out. We do have the Archon with Maelstrom upgraded out on the field. That plus Psystorm is just devastating. Reavers are here with a slew of cannons and high Templar, so that's going to be incredibly difficult to take. This is at a difficult position for Zeddy to attack, because if he's attacking up here, Master Ray can counterattack. And Master Ray still has this inside nine that he can go ahead and establish. Zeddy desperately trying to go ahead and take his equivalent inside three. A handful of Zergings making their way up to the upper left hand base. There is no Overlord. So that Dark Temple are going to provide a lot of support. Ultralisks underneath getting distracted. They're starting to break through. Big reinforcements for Master Ray coming up to try to defend this base. The Overlord finally coming in position to deal with that Dark Templar. If they can power down that Nexus, that would be a win, but it looks like instead they're trying to concentrate on the extingent defenses, and while that's happening... Extingent wasn't the right word there. That's okay. More cannons being established. They're not even taking out probes here. So they're able to take out just all of the cannons and then die. And there's no reinforcing attack. It looks like another attack being dropped, but just Zerglings and a Defiler is not going to cut it here. With all of the with these Reavers in play. A Plague dropping to go ahead and try to soften that defense up. But still, this isn't going to be enough. Master Ray now moving out with his army to the middle of the map. Zerglings going in without Swarm support. Not that Swarm would make any difference here. Another Plague dropping on the Nexus and everything else. But while that's happening, Master Ray at 200 supply. Zeddy still sitting at 150. 50 supply down. Grouping up to go ahead and assault this 3 o'clock. He's got a lot of energy in these Dark Archons. A lot of Psy... And that's just going to make the Psy Storms all the more powerful. And I believe... Master A has done it. Three clock base has been wiped out. The inside three is thin on resources. It's going to get taken out as well. Reinforcements trying to come around from the back end. Unfortunately, again, no defiler support and they're engaging the exact units they don't want to engage there. The Dark Archons don't even need to Maelstrom here, although they could Maelstrom the ramp if they needed to. Kind of sitting there just... Kind of laughing. It looks like Maelstroming the back end ramp to provide a single focused engagement point. Man, that looks awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Nice whirling flames. Protoss has some awesome stasis, I tell you. Anyway, I digress. Cancellation on the Archon momentarily to go ahead and get one last Psy Storm out. Counterattack, somehow, that I don't even... It looks like it was a drop. Sneaking to Master Ray's bottom left-hand base. Archons, not in position to get... They're completely out of position at 3 o'clock, but even if they take out this base, which they're doing very, very slowly, it looks like, never mind, the Reavers sneaking up. The Reavers might be able to clean this up just by themselves. Huge flood out from Zeddy to go ahead and try to take this inside 6. This could turn into a match again. Beautiful Psy Storms from Master Ray clearing out all of the Zerglings, but the Ultralisks are still there. More Psy Storm 
Going to get one more ultless. That Reaver is going to get taken out. So now all of a sudden, if Zeddy can keep up the pressure, he might be able to take the 6 o'clock base out. Basically two of Master Ray's functional bases and reset the match back to, to even again. Zergling's taking out all sorts of probes. It looks like this base might get wiped out. And keep in mind, Zeddy might want to take this base because it is at a closer reinforcement point. Reinforcing Reavers coming in. <clears throat> Master Ray finally moving the attack force that was at the 3 o'clock location to come in to try to support this. Zeddy not focusing on that Nexus just yet. Now finally focusing on that Nexus. He's going to be able to wipe that out. Some Scourge in the air able to take down that shuttle. The Reaver's still able to clear out a lot of these Zerglings. So one base down. Master Ray now re-engaging on top of that third. Master Ray running a huge bank. Zeddy getting a little bit low on resources. He's still mining in the upper right. Another beautiful Maelstrom. Catching a lot of those Zerglings and Ultralisks. And I think just the overwhelming amount of Archons of both forms are going to just be able to clear out everything that's left. There are some lurkers and no observer overhead. So they might be able to clear this base out. More drops at the six o'clock, sorry, the bottom left-hand base. Going to be able to pick, maybe pick this Nexus off. It's going to be close. 14, 14 health. It holds. That is huge. <clears throat> Lurker is getting maelstromed and taken out. So Zeddy loses two hatcheries. He's able to clear out that attack force in the upper right. Is well behind in supply, but Master Ray critically able to keep one of his mining bases up. And I think that's his last mining base. Huge bank, though. 4,000 minerals. Zeddy getting very thin in his upper right-hand bases. He needs to establish an additional base. This is going to be a big fight over the 6 o'clock and perhaps inside 3. More Zerglings gathering up for another drop on this bottom left-hand base. Master Ray moving forward, wants to try to reestablish. Master Ray might win this just because he has a larger bank. He also has more than twice the supply. Is Maelstrom going to catch? No, Maelstrom's not in place to catch this. Zeddy needs to basically take the 3 o'clock base, get a defense force out. Ultralis dropping right on top of that Reaver. Lurker's there as well. No detection. Are they going to be able to poke this Nexus? Nexus is down. Master Ray is no longer mining. Or if he's mining, it's going to be at a distance. Still has 4,000 minerals and max supply, though. Zeddy trying to get more Zerglings out. He's got to do it on a thin troop count, though. Master Ray sitting at 200 supply again. Keep in mind, with just 38 probes, this is pure army. Fully upgraded Protoss army. Nearly fully upgraded Zerg army. Three clock base. A critical base to hold. Zelt's assaulting it. Master Ray is distance mining that bottom left. Ultralisks, Zerglings coming in to try to clear this army out. Turn around, High Templar. Every Zergling counts here. On thin margins. Ultralis able to get up on top of that. Ooh, getting maelstromed and caught. That is going to be it for them. I don't see any lurkers as well in the support army. And I believe Master Ray has done it. Again, sneaking up to this 3 o'clock. He's going to be able to take that out. And that should be GG. He can still distance mine, reestablish his nexus in the bottom left-hand corner. Still at 200 supply. Zeddy at 60 supply equivalently, moving an Overlord up. It's getting taken out. GG. Great game from these two. For uh, This is going to be a great series if this is any indicator. Game one goes to Master Ray in his defense of his BSL title. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to game two momentarily.